This episode is an update on the Western Electric number 12 switchboard. I recently acquired this with help from uh, two TCI club members that was contacted by the widow of the gentleman who had this switchboard, which was a retired telephone company employee. This particular switchboard is a combination board, so it can have magneto telephones on it or common battery telephones on it. After an enormous amount of work and replacing all of the cords and also doing some wiring repair, I've got the switchboard where it's almost 100% functional. There's a couple of cord circuits that's got issues that I have yet to resolve. So I've got one phone connected to this, and I'll go off hook on that phone. And you can see the light here is lit up on that jack. I will momentarily plug into that and make a call to the magneto switchboard sitting next to this board. With the phone off hook, the rear cords on the switchboard, which you can't see at this moment, but I'll show in a moment, would be what is called the answer cords. So the operator would pull up a cord and plug into the jack with the light that was lit, and then operate the talk key and would talk to the subscriber who's placing the call. In this case, I will ring, and you will hear the audible ring in the background, my Magneto telephone switchboard, which is trunk number one on this particular arrangement. So I've presently rung. So at the Magneto switchboard, and I will show that momentarily, the operator there would then complete the call to a magneto telephone somewhere in that community. When the call was done, the customer would hang up their phone and it lights a light on the key shelf, and I will show that in a moment, and then they would take down the call and the operator would ring the other switchboard operator to tell them that the call was completed. This is the magneto phone switchboard that was called. The upper left jack, which is marked number 11, is the interconnect trunk to the Model 12 switchboard. Having the camera positioned to see the cord circuits and the key shelf, presently I am plugged into the jack that has a off-hook condition phone. When I hang up, you will see a light light on the key shelf, and that tells the operator that that party has hung up. If I go off-hook, it goes out and they would take down the call and then that would be the end of it. As I stated previously, the cords had to be replaced due to the fact that the switchboard plugs were all very badly corroded and very badly tarnished. And at the other end of the cord where the spades connected to the conductor, the plastic insulation on the three conductors was rotten, so they, I had bare wires, broken wires, and so forth. So a special thanks to several people who worked on uh, coming up with new cords for the switchboard. The early switchboards had the green, the red, and the white, or in this case gray cords and white lamps. Later on, they just went to red and gray, or red and white lamp caps. So these cords were more difficult to acquire. Right now, the subscriber is on hook on the one phone I have off hook, so I'm gonna ring it. 
This particular switchboard was factoried to have two-party service or four-party if the operator knew how to ring the code ringing. I have a call connected between the yellow phone and an outgoing dial trunk. I also have the dial cord, which is the red cord, plugged into the dial portion of the trunk, which is connected to my step-by-step -step switch. I'm thankful for the people who removed this switchboard from service. They cut the cables right at the joining point of the next position, so they left enough tails so that once I have the wood side panels made for this, it'll look like it was uh, factory done. The wiring we're looking at was done um, in the factory and then shipped to the field, and then the installers would terminate one end of the cable. I was able to wire on the jacks that I'm going to connect phones to, which is approximately 30 jacks and 10 of the magneto jacks. I anticipated this was going to be an incredibly miserable job and it delivered in HD 4K as being a very miserable job. Accessibility fragile wires and stuff that was made, you know, 65, 70 years ago. I did prevail and I have so far tested each of my jacks as I wired them and they are functional. I will look, show the wiring I did. One of the jacks that I wired up this was easy access from the side of the switchboard. However, when you got into jack number four, five, and up to 20 on that strip, it became a very serious challenge. This was the top strip, which was much easier to get to because I had more room to work. This just shows the type of work that the installers and the people at the factory would have to do. A rear view of the cords and the terminals that they connect to. I'll show some of the relay equipment that is mounted on the rear of this switchboard. The only way to get access to the terminals that the wires connect to is to crawl into the front of the switchboard after you pull all of the cords up out of your way. This is incredibly challenging to work on because you're on your hands and knees with limited access. The red light that is lit is an indication that a call from a magneto phone had ended. Back in the days of Magneto Telephone Service, when you completed your call, you would place the handset on the phone, or the receiver in this case, and then crank the crank once or twice to alert the operator the call had ended. And that's what I'm indicating right now. Within the next two to three weeks, I will produce my 100-year telephone call. With this switchboard working, and I have two trunks presently wired to it, I will be working on the third, and there's a fourth one in the works that will be the interconnect <clears throat> to my number three CL switchboard, which would have happened in the real life of this switchboard. I will have some common battery phones and magneto phones connected to different switchboards and we will be placing calls between 
the phones, through the switchboards, then a call through my 3CL board into my step-by-step -step system, as well as calls to the outside world to a modern iPhone. Quick close-up of the magneto drops. A quick side view of the number 12 switchboard. All of the sloppy wiring that is down lower will be connected to my trunks. After they've all been tested and verified to work, I will mount them below the relay plates that's presently mounted and correct the wiring so that it looks like it's been professionally wired. Here is one of the magneto phones that will be used. That phone is a 20s generation phone, but I do have phones made prior to 1900. And then the non-dial phone will be connected on a manual system. There was no need for dials because there was no equipment that would respond to the dials. This is one of the phones that was made prior to 1900 that will be connected to one of the magneto jacks on my model 1800 switchboard. This concludes my update video. If there's any types of a phone call that would be of interest, please comment below. I have lots of different phones from different time periods. However, this project has taken up an enormous amount of time I am guessing I have about 50 plus hours of labor into this switchboard and I still have a few more hours of work to do on it. The plan for the 100 year phone call will be from a phone prior to 1900 through the entire network to a modern cell phone. That's the ultimate goal and I do have enough operational technology to do that. None of the technology has been modified as in the phones will be original, the switchboards are original, the trunking concept will be original. The trunk that I have built is built off of a schematic of a real trunk that this switchboard would have had. Due to the fact that this switchboard was made in 1945, the people who acquired this did not take any of the trunk equipment so there's, to the best of my knowledge, no known trunk equipment around for the number 11 or number 12. So they have to be manufactured. Thankfully, I have a fair amount of parts that I can actually accomplish that. So until the 100-year phone call, have a great day.